Hello students. Today we want to discuss how to write research methodology. This is very important. It will guide you how to write research methodology. Writing research methodology is just like navigating the way to your destination. As you are looking at the picture of Mount Everest, here is the way that how uh, rock climbers will reach the top of the kit, uh, top of the Mount Everest. In the same way, you are going to accomplish your research work, and research methodology will guide you that how will you complete your research work. You will mention all steps. You will plan each and everything in the course of your research. When you uh, make all plans and you decide about your research methodology you will also make flow charts uh, those flow charts will indicate all process of your research at each step you will give rationale and justification of your research step that why have you selected that uh, data why have you selected uh, qualitative or quantitative research if you have chosen mixed method research, why have you chosen mixed method research? In fact, research questions play very dynamic and crucial role in determining your uh, research methodology because your research questions lead you towards the process of research. For example, if you look at these five research questions, how does text mining summary discover stylometric features from intermediate English textbooks? How does an interactive word cloud reveal major themes and characters from intermediate <coughs> English textbooks? What types of collocation patterns have been unveiled to extract the standard phraseology with its parts of speech? How do knowledge graphs present the interrelationship of various key themes and characters for digital hermeneutics? How does the context of certain ambiguous words disambiguate the word sense by showing interactive bidirectional context? So, uh, some research questions lead to qualitative research, some uh, research questions lead to quantitative type of research. So your research questions are very important because they lead towards your data and your research method. And your research question and your methodology and type of data, they must correlate with one another. Okay, there is qualitative type of data which is consisting of words like you there is a content analysis there is analysis of uh, anything uh, there is critique of any piece of writing quantitative as the word suggests quantity that there must be some digits suppose there is pre-test post-test and you have uh, marks you have numbers you have quantity so uh, there can also be mixed methods that qualitative and quantitative both types of data uh, would be present in your research. So uh, preferably you should choose one either qualitative or quantitative but you can also choose mixed methods. Theoretical framework. Theoretical framework or theory of your research. It is very important. Many students come to us and they say, please tell us a theory and we will apply and paste that theory in our data analysis. No, it does not happen. Uh, how does it work? You are reading different research papers uh, for your literature review. When you read a research paper, write down the name of the theory. And uh, theory can be a book, a key book which guides you how to uh, analyze, how to present, how to discuss that data. It can be a research paper. Uh, and uh, obviously, your theory will be connected with your title. Suppose you are working on uh, gender analysis. Obviously, that theory would be in... <coughs> sorry that theory would be related with the gender biases or some other gender related issues so 
theory has been discussed in different parts of the books or in different parts of the papers so you will take one sample thesis paper or and you will follow its theory because uh, those who are writing uh, a research paper first time they must have a sample thesis and you will follow that thesis you will follow the theory of that thesis and you will see that how that writer has applied that theory how will you apply that theory you will take certain sentences key sentences certain terms and you will relate them with your data so in this way you will apply your theory you will quote theory in your data analysis research uh, methodologies uh, method is uh, very small method and methodologies is consisting of two or three methods so uh, i'm going to share with you two research methods one is called research onion saunders et al has discussed it second is the typology of research durant 2004 has uh, presented this model you can choose any one either research onion or typology of research <coughs> <clears throat> basically we are working by book that how to write a research methodology i will prefer a typology of research should be followed uh, now come to these research models one by one suppose you have chosen research onion okay onion has different layers and uh, it has five layers first is research philosophy that what is your research philosophy what is your theory uh, are you searching for uh, positivism or post positivism or ontology you will mention research approach is it inductive approach or deductive approach inductive approach uh, lead from examples to rules deductive uh, approach uh take uh, rules to examples you will mention your research strategies <clears throat> that suppose you will use a sanders et al research strategy or a durant's seven point typology of research there is a time horizon uh, that uh, uh, your research schedule suppose you have conducted this research in which year and uh, data collection methods some people collect uh, data uh, from questionnaires from interviews or uh, some just digitize the textbooks so every research has different data collection methods so you can choose this one or you can choose to durant's seven point typology of research <coughs> sorry it has seven elements framework for research data generation research method approach and rationale data quality and data mining data handling and data analysis research management and application of research and research skills in framework you will mention that which theory have you used data generation how have you generated data research method is mixed method approach or qualitative approach or quantitative approach you will mention data mining rules or uh, tools and uh, you will data handling that you will find text visual and quantitative data analysis ethical consideration and data presentation basically these are the seven points and uh, this is the application of these uh, seven points on left side these are the features which durant has mentioned and on right side this application i have applied in my research so this is your choice whether you choose uh, research onion or durant seven point typology you can read further from uh, internet <clears throat> when you use research when you start research there is a different instruments like uh, i have uh, used a veon text mining tool this is veont and uh, uh, these are uh, you can make such type of table your research question your research objectives and tools or instrument they should correlate with each other uh, terms i have mentioned that these terms will be used in a uh, research work 
a person can easily find out these terms. So some students uh, will use questionnaire to collect data. Some uh, questionnaires can be open-ended or closed-ended. Some will start interviews from uh, their research participants. And uh, some students can use text mining tools or software. And uh, some students uh, will use the experimental model. Uh, usually in quantitative research, they will use uh, such models. Over there, there would be pre-test, treatment phase, and post-test. Pre-test mean, first of all, you will uh, find out the present condition of the students. As doctors do that, they take test. And then they give the medicine to the person for 15 days. And after 15 days, they again take the same test and they judge whether the person has recovered or not. In the same way, social sciences uh, researchers will also take pre-test that what's the problem. And then they will start treatment phase. There would be some lesson plans. They will use some tools that uh, the person has improved or not. Then there would be post-test. And over there, you will also make two groups. One would be experimental group and one would be control group. You will not uh, apply anything on control group, but you will apply your treatment on experimental group. And afterwards, you will use tools, SPSS, statistical package for social sciences, Stata, Minitab, statistical software, or ANOVA, or some other tools for data analysis. So, uh, there is ethical consideration. Ethical means uh, uh, honesty, uh, plagiarism, uh, their work, your work should be free from plagiarism. Here, uh, I want to present ethical considerations in a nutshell. That consent of participants, that participants uh, have uh, joined uh, the research process willingly. So, they will uh, have signature on the questionnaire. It will show their consent. Or if you are conducting a research in some school, you will take permission from school, college, university on their letterhead. And uh, I have shared that letter on the next slide. You can take uh, that letter from Serious Data Google Classroom. Its code is RBOVFF2, for example. This is the letter. You can pause it and you can read it that uh, you will mention your name, your phone number, your email ID, your research topic, your supervisor's uh, name, and you will mention that this study will not harm you in any way, and you can withdraw your, uh, your consent uh, at any stage. And uh, the data would be anon anonymous, uh, so that nobody can uh, judge, to, judge that who has given this comment. So uh, in the end, there would be permission has been granted or not. This is very important and this should be attached in the appendix in the end of the thesis. Uh, there is a research data that what will you analyze? It can be a textbook, it can be blogs, websites, books, ads, newspapers, videos, audios, images or anything which you want to study or analyze. Uh, sampling and population, you must understand the difference between them. Population is all population. Suppose I want to conduct study A on teachers uh, who teach to MA English. So in Pakistan, thousands of teachers teach uh, uh, to MA English. So I have to, this is total population. So sample, sample mean I will take two teachers from, or five teachers from each province. So that would be my sample. So there are different types of sampling, sample collection technique. One is convenient sampling, that that sample which you can collect easily. For example, you can collect from your neighborhood or from your own college. Random sampling, that there is no particular rule, you have selected your sample randomly. Systematic sampling means you uh, just uh, uh, collected your uh, sample in a systematic manner, like even students have been chosen or odd students have been chosen. <clears throat> So snowball sampling. Snowball sampling means here uh, it is difficult to find the sample. You can uh, uh, 
collect uh, this sample uh, with the help of uh, different persons. For example, you are conducting research on drug addicts. Uh, they cannot be easily available. You will contact one person and uh, uh, then you will ask that, do you know who are the other uh, social uh, uh, drug addicts? The person will tell you one or two other persons' names. Then you contact them. In this way, your uh, sampling increases and you contact uh, the other person with the help of the first person. Stratified sampling means grouping. You make groups. Uh, those groups can be made on uh, the basis of gender, on the basis of age, or on the basis of their language or their regional affiliation. Pilot testing. It does not mean that we are testing pilots. Uh, basically, pilot testing means we are just testing a study on a miniature level. Suppose you are going to uh, take your uh, data on questionnaire uh, from 100 people, but in the beginning, you will just conduct this study on three persons or five persons. Questionnaire can be open-ended questionnaire or closed-ended questionnaire. You can conduct your research with interviews. Uh, obviously, pilot testing is just a small level type of study. Data visualization, when your results have been compiled, uh, it would be better if you present your data with the help of different types of data visualization. I will make a separate uh, video for you uh, how to change a simple table into a beautiful data visualization. If you have any question, please feel free, free to ask. Thank you so much. Best wishes.